All right, in this problem, an acorn falls from an oak tree. It's the fall of the year, and the acorns are falling, and we note that it takes 2.5 seconds for it to hit the ground. How fast is it going when it hits the ground? Uh, so the question is how fast? We're going, we know it's accelerating, and we know that the acceleration due to gravity is a constant value, as stated again and again and again. So if we draw the acceleration due to gravity, or if we look at it at some time here, let's just say it's there, its initial speed is zero. There's the acorn hanging on the tree. And then sometime later, well, it's down here, it's moving with a speed that we don't know. So we'll leave that as a blank. We know its, speed, its velocity is gonna change because gravity's tugging on it. And we know up here, gravity's tugging on it at a rate of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. And we know down here at its final location that gravity's still tugging on it at the same value. So those values are equivalent of negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So the acceleration that occurs is due to gravity. So we'll just write a g. The acceleration is g. And we know that acceleration is delta v or delta t. So I'll rewrite uh, the acceleration g. So I'll just write the acceleration as g is v minus v naught. That is the delta v divided by the elapsed time. So if we're interested in solving for the final speed of this, we'd be solving for v. Oh, we have a lot of math to do here. v has the initial speed subtracted from it and delta t divided by it. So I'll rewrite again. g equals v minus v naught divided by delta t. Now the first thing we're going to do is to get rid of the delta t. What's the, if we have v minus v naught and the whole thing, the whole shebang, everything in parentheses is divided by delta t, the first thing we'll do is to multiply by delta t, both sides and we get that. And I'll rewrite, I know it's getting busy. We know that V minus V naught will be equal to G delta T. And now the opposite of subtracting V naught from V, which is what we're solving for, is adding. So I'll just add it to both sides. And then our final equation, which I'm going to write in green, because we made it, is going to be equal to, by the way, that would cancel. V would be equal to V naught plus G times T. So the final speed will be equal to the initial speed, which is zero meters per second. I suppose we could have canceled that long ago so we didn't have to worry about it, but we dealt with it. Plus the acceleration, which is negative 9.8 meters per second squared because gravity's tugging and tugging and tugging all the time, constantly, with a constant rate, times the time, 2.5 seconds. When we do acceleration times time, it gives us the delta V because the seconds will cancel the second squared. And when we reveal the answer, it's the product of 9.8 and 2, which is 24 meters per second squared. But why negative? Why negative? Why is this going to be negative 24 meters per second squared? The answer to my question is that the velocity vector is pointing in the negative y direction. So we get a negative value. Whenever you get a negative value, for a velocity, that means the object would be either moving down, according to this frame of reference, or to the left.